Hello viewers, now this is the examination special series. So, particularly we are going to discuss the first chapter that is complex numbers. So, which is applicable for all the board examination, intermediate board examinations either Andhra Pradesh or Telangana or some other states. Whenever coming to the point of view Telangana or Andhra Pradesh from complex numbers it comes under second year mathematics 2 a paper. So, one 2 marks question that means one 2 marks question and one 4 marks question total 8 marks will appear. So, in this actually session we mainly concentrated on first of all concepts what do we mean synopsis first briefly we will discuss later we go for one mark type questions and short answer type questions. So, that will be very useful to crack the examination very easy and you may get more marks you may if sometimes you may get 100 percent marks that means out of 75 75 you may score in the examination. Okay. Let us go concentrate on first of all complex numbers. So, what is the complex number? The generally the complex number is in the form of a plus i b, a plus i b form. This is called complex number. So, in this one where a comma b are both are real numbers, both are real numbers and i what is i? i is equal to root minus 1 or i square is equal to minus 1 we know that already i is imaginary unit. So, now this complex number is denoted by letter z. So, here we can write z is equal to a plus i b and also it is written by order pair an order pair. So, that means a comma b also we can write and here what is a and what is b in this one. See a is called imaginary part of z imaginary part of z whereas b is called real part of sorry this is a is called real part of z whereas b is called imaginary part of z. This is a is here real part b is imaginary part. So, this is means real part of z is a imaginary part of z is b. So, next we have suppose let us take two complex numbers z 1 is equal to a 1 plus i b 1. Okay. and z2 is equal to a2 ib2 suppose if z1 is equal to z2 what will be what will happen let us see for example if two complex numbers are equal that means equality of complex numbers whenever equality of complex numbers are there so if you equate this a 1 must be equal to a 2 and b 1 must be equal to b 2. That means, real parts are equated and whereas, imaginary parts are equated. So, we get now here a 1 is equal to a 2 and b 1 is equal to b 2. If z 1 is equal to z 2, we get a 1 is equal to a 2 and b 1 is equal to b 2. Now, Additive inverse concept. What is additive inverse? Additive inverse of z. Z means consider a plus i b only. So, additive inverse of z is minus z that can be written minus a minus i b. Now, conjugate of z. What is conjugate of z? conjugate of z is a minus i b denoted by z bar. So, if z is equal to a plus i b hereafter 
its conjugate z bar is written as a plus i b means this plus is replaced by minus this is z bar so now how to add two complex numbers how to multiply two complex numbers how to divide two complex numbers and how to compare the two complex numbers so let us have a brief discussion so now how to add two complex numbers let us see so consider z1 is equal to a1 plus ib1 z2 is equal to a2 plus ib2 now its addition of two complex numbers is given by z1 plus z2 so that is equal to a1 plus a2 and plus i of b1 plus b2 so what do you observe here so real parts real parts are added and imaginary part and imaginary parts are added similarly difference also we can find out z1 minus z2 is equal to a1 minus a2 plus i of b1 minus b2 this is the addition of the two complex numbers so how to multiply so z1 into z2 so that means a1 plus i b1 multiplied by a2 plus i b2 so let us multiply how to multiply the two complex numbers let us see a1 into a2 a1 a2 plus this is a1 i a1 b2 plus this is i a2 b1 plus this is i square b1 b2 now this i square is replaced by minus 1 so we get a1 a2 minus b1 b2 plus a1 b2 plus a2 b1 of i this is product of two complex numbers so now first multiplicative inverse let us discuss multiplicative multiplicative inverse multiplicative inverse of z complex number z what is the multiplicative multiplicative inverse multiplicative inverse of z multiplicative inverse of z is given by 1 by z suppose if z is equal to a plus ib what is the multiplicative inverse of inverse of z is equal to 1 by a plus ib now already we have discussed the what is the conjugate of z conjugate of z is z bar that is nothing but so z bar is equal to we know a minus ib if providing z is equal to a plus ib so now the multiplicative inverse of z is 1 by z so 1 by a plus ib its conjugate is a minus ib so multiply both numerator and denominator with the conjugate of a plus ib that is a minus ib so this we can write 1 by a plus ib multiplied with a minus ib by a minus ib okay now this is equal to a minus ib into 1 a minus ib whereas this is in the form of a plus b into a minus b which equals to a square minus b square so this we can write directly a square minus i square b square providing i square is 
minus 1 minus of minus this becomes plus. So, this is equal to a minus i b by a square plus b square. So, it can be rewritten a by a square plus b square and minus i of b by a square plus b square. So, this is the multiplicative inverse of a plus i b. So, what is the multiplicative inverse of a plus i b? a by a square plus b square minus i of b by a square plus b square. So, before going to discuss the division, it had better to discuss even the modulus of a complex number also. What is the modulus of a complex number? So, let us discuss. So, modulus of a complex number, modulus of a complex number, modulus of a complex number. So, what is the modulus of a complex number? Suppose, modulus of a complex number z only provide the modulus of complex number is denoted by mod z. Suppose, z is a plus i b only, z is equal to a plus i b only. Its modulus is given by now root of a square plus b square. Shall we recall what is a and what is b? a is nothing but real part of z. What is b? b is nothing but imaginary part of z. So, this same the modulus of any complex number can be stated like this also root of real part of z square plus imaginary part of z whole square. So, this is mod z. 